Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for joining us today. I'm happy you found me. In today's vlog, I am filming for an artist at a museum today, which is so freaking cool. I've worked with this artist in the past, so I'll have that video linked up above somewhere. I may mention it later on in the video as well. So be sure to go watch that video after you're done watching this one. So essentially today I'm going to be filming content for this artist. If you guys didn't know, I do do this as like part of my business, my side gigs. I film content for creators and artists, businesses. So if you guys know someone that needs some content done or if you yourself needs content, then hit your girl up. I'll have all of my contact information down below or you guys can head over to my Instagram. I have a link to everything that you need to know about my rates over there in my bio. In this vlog, you kind of get to see a little bit about what I do and kind of the process that we go through. I have so much fun doing this. This is one of my favorite things about doing social media as a job is being able to meet so many different creative people. When you're in an entire room full of artists and creatives, it's really amazing to see just how much work goes into getting these pieces into museums and the passion that everyone has for their craft. I love uplifting small businesses and fellow creators. It's kind of a series that I do on my channel. You guys can go check out some other ones that I've done. I'll have them also linked up above or in the description box if you guys want to go check those out. But for now, we are going to get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy all of these amazing artists. Today I am visiting the Student Invitational at the Wignall Museum of Contemporary Art. This exhibition has left many visitors blown away, so let's go explore and find out why for ourselves. Throughout this video, I will be going around and asking artists where they got their inspirations from. So let's get to it! Alright guys, we're here with Josh Scott once again and we're doing a little tour of the art space and I wanted him to tell us a little bit about his new artwork and his installation. So Josh, tell us a little bit about your art piece and what inspired you to make three different art pieces today. Through all of this, I'm just trying to show everything I learned here in the graphic design program. And so the work starts with art history and finding a subject which I picked was the horse just because it was in relief sculptures from ancient times all the way up through modern day. This horse just keeps reappearing. Working with that, I then took it into the design programs, came up with a unique image to use as a reference, and then painted it. And I'm not a painter, and so that was a whole journey to go on just to be able to teach myself those skills. In that process, I realized that the other students in the program were making multiple projects, and so I was trying to come up with one other way to really render it out and so then I came up with the idea of making a motion graphic. So I'm really trying to show the full spectrum of what you could do with graphic design in three different mediums. This program, finishing this artwork, being able to be in the museum is my greatest achievement. I started here in 2001, I dropped out, came back, dropped out again, and so being able to go through that process, finish the classes, prove to myself that I can do this uh, has been an awesome adventure. Upon walking into the exhibition, you're immediately struck by the diversity of the art that's on display. Each piece is a testament to the artist's unique visions and creative process. A majority of the artwork demanded a closer look and invited the viewers to think deeply about the complexities and nuances the artist wanted to convey. This emotional depth inspires me to dig deeper to uncover the story each artist is trying to tell. It's a reminder that art is a powerful medium for expressing our innermost thoughts and feelings. Despite the variety of styles and mediums, there is a common thread that ties all of these works together. The creative process. Thank 
inspiration behind this art is just pretty much my upbringing in here in California and in Guatemala. And I just try to combine these types of cultures from Hispanic and, and American and represent it in a way that uh, represents uh, these vibrant colors that I've chosen. Whether it's painting, sculpture, or multimedia, each piece represents the artist's journey from idea to creation. This process of bringing something out of seemingly nothing is a fundamental aspect of human nature. We are all creators at heart, driven by a desire to express ourselves and connect with others through those creations. These installations captured the imagination of the visitors and transported them into another world. More than that, I want to really congratulate uh, the artists who participated this year in this rigorous program. Uh, their lead professor, Dr. Ming, yes, and all of your mentors as well, so thanks to you all. So with that, I want to introduce Dr. Ming, who's going to make remarks about all of the artists uh, briefly, and then you can get back to dancing, eating, enjoying the art, and having a great time. So thanks, everybody, for being here. Dr. Ming? So I'm going to actually go in order of how the exhibition is laid out. So I'm starting with the first work that you'll see when you enter into the galleries, which is the work of Omar Melendez. So these four square paintings that are feature an animal in the center, and these animals are from uh, Central America, an homage to Omar's roots, and they grab your attention with their vibrant colors, but also notice the intensity of the eyes. As you walk into the center part of the gallery, you can't miss Andrea Hernandez's. It's the sculpture of the car that is a 1994 Honda Civic DX Coupe that has been in the Hernandez family for the past 25 years. You will see in between two walls, these five little beds lined up very nicely and precisely. And you would be experiencing the work of Brooke Bartholomew. Woo! I know her. <laughs> She was, she was interested in this idea of taking something very familiar and making it unfamiliar. Lee, at the beginning, you know, there was a little bit of struggle to find your groove, but you ended up with this perfect combination of taking your illustration and turning it into a work that authoritatively occupies that space. So dear audience members, I challenge you too to go there and look and see if you can distinguish which parts are the canvas that's painted and which parts are the digital projection. Along the back wall of the gallery, then you will see three life-size clay vessels. And these are the work of Kalia Spalding. <laughs> Kalia was interested in exploring the female form in these they're very highly abstracted way, but and also the pressures that are assumed by women. Um, you'll see this large tented structure overlaid with layers and layers of fabric. This is an insulation by Ney. And so to the audience, um, we invite you to enter into this space and experience that wonder and lightness for yourself opposite wall of Nays, it's the same wall, but it's the opposite side, is a wall of drawings by Anne-Marie Bonetto. <laughs> Anne-Marie has always been interested in drawing from life, like drawing people and figures, and she wanted to keep doing that for the student invitational. And this set of drawings is a result of her studies of strangers. In between these two slanted walls is this abstract sculptural form that sits directly on the floor. This is the work of Janine Sandoval. Okay, the next work that you might see on the next wall is Ryan Lee's sculptures. This work is inspired by the furry and pet clay erotic subcultures. Interestingly, Ryan is not a participant in these communities, <laughs> but just like everyone else, he is fascinated by them. On the opposite wall of Ryan's works, it's the same wall, but the opposite side are Melanie Padilla's two paintings. 
I see these works as a way to experience and kind of re-experience and revisit the experiences that you had by translating photographs. So she took all of these photographs that she had of herself and translating them into the painting medium. You know, she talks about kind of this losing of her memories or the memories fading. And I think that's something that many of us feel too. And that kind of fear that takes over when you realize like you actually can't remember some of the things that you really cared about. And as you keep coming around and into that corner, you see these two tall towers of ceramics and those are the work by Jeanette Green. You found this way to transform a very typically a utilitarian object into this sculptural like totem. This is Josh Scott and his work. Here's Josh. <laughs> it's just inside the gallery, just to the left on that left wall. And it, this is a work that has three different components to it, including a print and a painting and a motion graphic. Okay, and the last work I want to talk to you about is in the project room, which was the separate room that is uh, right here to the left off of the staircase. And this room was occupied by David Galindo. <laughs> One thing I know that you were really interested in communicating and that you wanted maybe the audience to hear too was that there was a lot of sense of isolation and pain that especially young people and adolescents and children went through during the lockdown um, of COVID. And so this, I just wanted to give a, use this as a platform to communicate to the audience too that feeling like maybe if you have young people in your life or people that were young during the pandemic that it's worth the conversation to ask them how they're doing and think about how that experience affected them. Finally I wanted to thank the Wignall Museum staff. As many of you know videography and photography are my chosen mediums for telling my story and the stories of others. Capturing moments through my lens allows me to share my unique perspective with the world. Seeing all these incredible displays has inspired me to explore my own creativity even further. I hope the things that I make resonates with others and inspires them to create and explore themselves deeper too. I hope that this glimpse into the Student Invitational has inspired you just as much as it has inspired me.